Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever time zone it is, whether you on the world, it is your Lord and Saviour. And yesterday evening at 6pm British time, which is BST at the time of recording, or GMT plus one, because apparently we need two of those, uh, which was the 24th of August 2023 in the year of the Lord Talos, the last Reef the Oblivion related law episode was dropped on the Law by Night podcast. And we need an ominous gong to celebrate the occasion. <laughs> but no... Um, in coincidental jokes aside, a word I can't pronounce properly, this is a very happy and kind of sad moment for me. The rave stuff has been a good almost two years of work now. For almost two years, you have all been blessed with Dr. Frederick Phoenix, co-founder of the Phoenix Institute. And it's just been a lot of fun. I started doing rave stuff as a connection to Cult of the Blood Gods of V5, because has some ghost material, wraith stuff in there. And it teases little snippets here and there, and I had people asking about the Hakata or how to incorporate ghost stuff into their games. And it just seemed like a good idea. Do an episode on Necromancy, or Oblivion, as it's called in V5. <laughs> and then just pair that up with the wraith stuff. And I've had some people give some wonderful feedback in things like there was a comment by this user yesterday that made me feel very emotional so if by chance you're watching this thank you that really made my day that but at the same time it's also been rather disheartening because well Wraith the Oblivion is not the most popular splat within the world of darkness and for that reason it doesn't garner as much views unfortunately but then again, that's going to be the case with whatever I do on the Law by Night YouTube channel. If it's not vampire related, it's not going to get much of attention. Which, I'm not going to blame anyone for. Like, this isn't me saying, oh, now you're watching my stuff, you don't like me. No, I get that. I, I totally understand the reason and why for that. And there's also to do with the part of YouTube's algorithm. Oh, this isn't the stuff you usually do. We're not going to promote this as much, because fuck you. It's just, I have mixed feelings. Because I have worked very hard and I have enjoyed doing this and I'm not going to lie, there is a small ego thing that can make me say I'm the only one who has covered pretty much the entirety of Wraith the Oblivion stuff on YouTube. Some people have done a lot of them, but nobody has done everything. And I've pretty much done everything. There's a couple things I haven't included. Um, primarily the Dark Kingdoms of Polynesia and the Dark Kingdom of Wire. The first one is because you have like a paragraph on it and you don't really get much of an episode out of that. Second of all, the Dark Kingdom of Wire, for those who don't know, is the Shadowlands and the Skinlands that occupies Auschwitz and a variety of uh, concentration camps, but it's primarily Auschwitz. And you may, some of you may be like, oh, what if Wolf really doing that? They did. But I will also forward this by saying that they actually did this fairly respectfully. And the book that that's all included in is also incredibly respectful. Um, but I do talk about the Dark Kingdom of Wire in the form of a book review, as an overview, because I don't think YouTube would want me... YouTube doesn't like content like that, shall we say? And there's also the fact that... I, I sort of got into trouble earlier this year when I was doing a little review of one of the older World of Darkness books, the Twitter crowd, and me doing stuff like that is just going to get me dogpiled, and quite frankly, I don't want to be cancelled again. But anyway, little mini rants aside, it's been a lot of fun doing Wraith the Oblivion stuff, and I've really, in, really enjoyed doing a lot of it. There have been some bits that have been fucking miserable, like some of the guilds, not the guilds, some of the legions were a bit awkward to write, because they were just incredibly insensitive. You know which ones I'm talking about if you've seen the race stuff. It, it's just, as I said, it's just been a lot of fun, and I'm just kind of sad that that's it, really. And I'm sure when World of Darkness get around to doing 5th edition Wraith, they're going to ruin everything, and then we're going to have to bring Dr. Frederick back again to talk about those 5th edition changes. I don't know if I'll do lore guides on them, per se, because they're just going to strip and bastardise everything, and I've done the full fat version. 
Maybe I'll bring him back under a different guise, like Professor Retcon or something. <laughs> that would be a fun idea. Like just going through the book on all the things that they change and all the things that don't make sense. Or have a different mad professor uh, for something like that. I don't know. It's got the brain juices working at least. But yeah, I'm, I'm sad that that's the end of race stuff and I'm just happy that for the few people that have watched that stuff, or rather few in the context of the thousands that have watched my vampire stuff, well watch, listens, you know, I just want to say a huge fucking huge thank you for all your support, your comments, your questions, and it's been really nice seeing some people get into Rafe more, because Rafe just needs a lot more love. This is a very hopeful game, and it's difficult to get into for sure, I'm just grateful that there's some people who are more mindful of that, you know, wanting to give things a go. I have to apologise for all the noise, there's construction work going on behind me, more ominous guns, and a flock of children behind me as well, so I have to keep up the pace and choose my fucking language carefully. <laughs> but anyway, seriously, I'm very grateful for all the support you have given, and um, yeah, we've got Demon the Fallen next, which is exciting. And I'm already finding problematic content with that, particularly in the form of the Earthbound. So hopefully there won't be too much of that as we do this, but it's White Wolf, in it? Like, late 90s, early noughties, White Wolf, there's going to be some issues. Hopefully it's just not anything as bad as the Earthbound. And this is somebody who doesn't really like a lot of religious faiths. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, you know, but if not, that'd be something fun for you to discover. But to end this back on Wraith-related content, I want you in the con section below to inform me of your favourite episode that talks about Wraith the Oblivion stuff. I want to hear your Wraith the Oblivion memories and I just want to hear, I want to hear all your Wraith stuff. Tell me all your Wraith stuff. Good, bad and indifferent. Favourite episode we're talking about Wraith. Your favourite Frederick Phoenix moment. The whole shebang. Like, I'm not going to go through it all because the possibilities are endless. I just want to hear your Wraith stuff and yeah. I hope you continue to enjoy what I have next, both demon, vampire, and whatever else I've got planned, because some of which I'm not going to tell you. Until next time, farewell!